Help support the companies that support our community. After I got the barrel turned and the lip cut out, I mixed up a little bit of quick coat and I put in a little bit of uh, white metallic and I'm going to paint this in with a paintbrush on the just where the ripples are. And the reason I'm doing this is give it a little bit of depth. I didn't want to hollow the whole barrel out because I wouldn't be able to position the apples. I, I wanted some of them to stand up so you could see the stems and some of them laying over. And if it was hollowed out all the way, I wouldn't be able to do that. It would be you know, hard to wait for the resin to set up just perfectly. So that's why I didn't go all the way down. But this white will give it a little bit of depth on there and I just put some ripples in for fun. So what I'm doing is I just painted just where the ripples are. And the reason I did that is because I'm gonna burn it here in a second. And the other resin's gonna darken it up really well too. As far as the apples go, I turned, I think about, about uh, 11 or 12 of them. I picked the best nine. <laughs> I, some of them, a couple of them were too small, one was too big. So I just used a, a maple dowel I had and this is um, a detail gouge. So I just, just did that. The one I have here in the video was the, the best one that turned out that we filmed. I think we filmed two or three of them, but or three or four of them. And this was the best one that turned out when I was filming it. So it's pretty easy. Um, just kind of, I even put the stem on it because Robin uh, painted the, or took a Sharpie and painted the little stems on it too. So it, it kind of gives it a realistic effect on it. But it was, you know, just kind of, 
I always, whenever I'm trying to do more than one of anything, I always make extra and pick out the good ones. And I use the Transfast dye for that. I just poured it into a cup, put all the apples in there, and I let them soak for about an hour. And while those were, were soaking, I put the barrel back on the lathe, and that's I just used a little torch. Um, you can pick these up uh, um, at, I don't know, smoke shop, or probably just about any place has them now. But it works, they work great, and they're super detailed. The flame on them is just fantastic, and you can get really accurate with them. And then I parted the, bar, uh, the barrel off, just used a parting tool with that. And then I put a sanding pad on the back on the lathe and uh, just cleaned up the bottom of it a little bit. As far as the lines go, I also did a little bit on the inside to kind of give it that effect that they were individual pieces too. I just used a pencil for that. After I pulled the apples out of the dye, I let them dry for a couple hours because you don't want any moisture in there. So let them sit in the house and, and completely dry out before I went ahead and put them in the resin. So for the resin on the inside, we used Supercast. You can pour this stuff really thick and it works great. So what I did is, I wasn't quite sure on the dye amount, so I put in just a teeny little amount. <laughs> it's stuff is concentrated, it's crazy. So I just kept adding little bits of blue into it until I got the, the you know color I wanted. But I just put it in there, I hit it with the torch, you know, poured maybe a quarter of an inch, hit it with the torch and I dipped all of the apples too. So after I was done filling up the barrel, I put it all into a little cup and then used a pair of tweezers because I wanted to, I wanted them to shine, but I didn't want to like, it's not deep enough to soak them all the way down into it. So that's why I put them in a the little cup and used the tweezers. And then that way, once I got them in the barrel, I could move everything around and, and position it the way I wanted to. And then I, I finally got three of them to stand up and. And I just kept hitting it with the torch for a couple hours because there were bubbles, but they were just around the apples. So those, I don't know, it was probably two or three hours. I just kept hitting it with the torch a little bit and it worked out great. I just uh, really liked the project and super fun. It was uh, just kind of, we were trying to come up with a Halloween project and Robin was looking online and we were gonna maybe do like a little cauldron with some fire and then she found the whiskey barrel. We picked up a real one a couple weekends ago in Seattle at the Woodcraft and which we're still trying to figure out what to do with it, but we thought we would make a little one and bobbin for apples, nothing like fall and Halloween then bob them for apples. So this is a super fun project. Uh, one other thing before I go, next Saturday at the 26th, we are gonna be at Gobi Walnut. I will put a link down below in the description it and it'll have their address and everything and I'll put in their social media stuff too. We're gonna be doing a demo there from 11 to two. They got pizza and beer. So swing on over there. We're gonna be turning some bowls in, inside their shop. We're bringing the mobile shop down there and we'll, we'll lay it out and do some turning inside of there. I hope to see you there. Again, I'll put a link to everything down below in the description, but fun project. Love the Supercast. It is crystal clear. I'll put some pictures up here, but it was a fun project. Um, it's super simple. It was cutting it out with that little air saw is actually probably the hardest part, trying to get it all level and smooth, but fun one. All right, till next time. Take care.